The intended audience for this video is design. When migrating a project from Unity to Unreal Engine, one of the most important questions to answer at the outset is, what are we migrating to Blueprints and what are we migrating to C++? The answer to this question is not straightforward. The answer varies depending upon the project, its scope, the development team, product goals, and many other factors. This video provides a framework to help guide this decision-making process in a calculated manner. The decision-making process begins with a number of key considerations. Not all blueprints and not all C++. Building for our team's strengths. Software performance needs. Data or code. How was the Unity project built? And looking ahead. Migration does not have to be, and should not be, all one or the other. A mix of blueprints and C++, tailored to project needs, team needs, and product goals, yields the best results. The strengths of each framework are covered later in this video and can be used to help with decision making. But first, it is important to fully understand the key considerations. First, what is the technical aptitude of those who are responsible for building out the game's content? In general, team members with less technical experience might be successful working in Blueprints, while more technical team members might work more efficiently in C++. In addition, what is the type and volume of work being done to build content? Work that requires a high volume of simple data tuning is typically better served by Blueprints as blueprints are typically faster to iterate and edit in volume. On the other hand, if a higher volume of new functionality is being built out, it is typically better to build out such content in C++, as C++ is typically easier to maintain and can run in a parallel workflow. Blueprints do not have merge capabilities and, in certain source control solutions, cannot be checked out by more than one user. Next, consider the type of experience being built and how performance affects the experience. A fast response action game could benefit greatly from running at a consistent 60 frames per second. On the other hand, a turn-based game or adventure game might still be successful running at a consistent 30 frames per second. Depending upon context, C++ can be more performant than Blueprints. It is recommended that C++ be used for core systems that require tight I.O. loops, large dataset processing, and or multi-threading. If 60 frames per second performance is a necessity and your project fits the example profile, you might want to put heavier consideration towards C++ for systems that do not absolutely require blueprints. As well, consider what can and should be exposed as tunable data. If implementers and content builders require a high volume of experimentation and iteration to be successful, you might want to put heavier consideration on building those aspects they will touch as blueprints or data assets. Even if an actor's functionality is better served by being built in C++, the data it interfaces with can still be built as blueprint properties, which can be quickly iterated in the editor and do not require a code recompile upon edit. It is also important to consider how the original project was built in Unity. Projects built with a high volume of complex nested prefab construction might be quicker to rebuild in Blueprints, as it can be easier to conceptualize how such an implementation more directly translates over to Blueprints. Similarly, if a lot of the original project's logic was built with visual scripting, it can be more efficient to rebuild a logic in Blueprint's analogous node-based visual scripting graph. In such cases, employing Blueprints typically requires less re-envisioning of implementation than translating to C++ might. In most cases, a development team has plans to create more than one video game. This should also factor into the Blueprints or C++ decision-making process, particularly if the team is also building games on other game engines or other major Unreal Engine versions. Generally, C++ is more portable, including to different major Unreal Engine versions, as Blueprints are not necessarily forward compatible to newer versions of Unreal Engine. Blueprints and C++ each have their own set of strengths, which play a key role in what you choose to migrate to one or the other. 
Some of Blueprint's greatest strengths are typically easier to use, less low-level expertise required, can be iterated in real time and without code recompile, great for a high volume of content adjustments or tuning, good for rapid prototyping, more directly translate from Unity Visual Scripting. Some of C++'s greatest strengths are better for scaling functionality and for maintenance, more efficiently ported between different engines and major engine versions, more performant, especially in projects with a higher volume of complex game logic. Core concept and workflow translates more directly from C Sharp. Can be used to add additional engine functionality in Blueprint's logic, as C++ provides full access to the engine features, while Blueprint's does not by default. Always keep in mind that Blueprint's and C++ are designed to work in harmony, so mixing the two in a manner best suited to your team and project is perfectly natural and encouraged. Blueprint nodes are built on C++, so even a Blueprint graph naturally combines the two. This means that a team can create nodes in C++ that are complex yet efficient, which content builders and implementers can use in Blueprint graphs by way of simple visual scripting and data handling. This symbiotic relationship also removes the need for a hard decision toward one or the other for the life of the project. Which framework is used for what can flexibly change as the need arises. This malleability also makes it easy to reuse logic across various Unreal Engine systems and frameworks. To wrap up, we offer some pointers and best practices for the process of converting a project from Unity to Unreal Engine. Build with performance needs in mind from the very beginning. Learn your team's technical strengths and gaps. Do not scatter your tuning interfaces across different assets and code. Establish the vision while maintaining flexibility. Look for patterns in the Unity project and consider how those patterns can be translated to Unreal Engine. For deeper details, refer back to the Inside Unreal Deep Dive video on the differences between Blueprints and C++, linked to in this video's description. It is also recommended that you refer back to the Unreal Engine documentation, also linked to in this video's description.